Hello and welcome to Live Well. I'm Ella Johnson for CPTV and today the focus is on interactive metronome therapy with my special guest, Kathy Ellerbush Thompson. Kathy is a physical therapist at Health South Deaconess Rehabilitation Hospital. Thanks for being here, Kathy. Thank you. And also Mr. William Miller. Mr. Miller is a retired educator and principal at McGarry Middle School and he also recently successfully completed therapy using the interactive metronome. So thank you for being here, Mr. Miller. Kathy, first of all, just kind of tell us about the interactive metronome and how the device works. Okay. It's a computerized program or an activity that incorporates the concept of the metronome from a music standpoint. Um, it gives auditory and visual feedback to allow the patient to self-monitor themselves to see if they're back on rhythm or in a, a normal timing or pattern of movement. So you have triggers such as this to keep time with. And then we can also add this, which into their shoes to help them monitor their gait pattern or their walking and heel strike. Okay. Now, how do you use this equipment in therapy with the patients? Okay, the uh, trigger goes onto their hands, something like this, and then as there's a cowbell or a beat that they listen to, they clap to the beat, and again, there's m instant feedback to them whether or not it's they're on rhythm or they're off and then they have to self-correct themselves and once they get normal or not normal but once they get used to using this then we can incorporate this for walking uh, and place this actually in their shoes and they then put their heels down to the feet and it's um, just basically to get that rhythm and that equal weight shift and okay. weight bearing through their legs. Okay. Now Mr. Miller you had Parkinsonism Yes. Now, tell me, what were some of the, the issues that you were experiencing when you first went to Health South last September? Well, first, uh, I had limited use of my right leg and, and my right arm and hand. I thought I'd had a stroke. Uh, my doctor sent me to a neurologist, and uh, uh, we then uh, wound up, she uh, recommended that I go to this therapy go to metronome therapy. So tell me about the therapy. How did the, the, um, the metronome help you as far as what you were doing? Well, um, I was dragging my right leg and uh, limping and difficulty of walking. And uh, it trained my brain to strike my heel and keep my leg out uh, at the proper time. So. Uh, I got, uh, after about, what, eight weeks? About eight weeks. Mm -hmm. About eight weeks, I was able to walk without the limp or, the, or dragging the left heel, mm -hmm. right heel, right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Not as fast as uh, I was before the situation happened, but uh, I'm doing well. You're still active? I'm still active. I'm working with the museum. And uh, the last thing that I did was, uh, an exhibit of African American churches. I took photos of all the churches and made an exhibit of it at the Evansville African American Museum. Well, it that's quite well with that. Well, glad to hear that you had great success with that. And Kathy, if people want to find out more about the uh, interactive metronome, what's the number they can call? They can call 476-9983. All right. Well, thank you very much for talking about the interactive metronome. And Mr. Miller, thank you for being here. And thank you very much for watching this episode of Live Well.